I'm Frank, Frank Kameny, a longtime gay activist here in Washington. I'm here sort of to mourn the passing of Lambda Rising. I wish it would stay with us for a while long that Deacon feels his mission is accomplished. Uh, not quite, in my view, because there are still lots of things here. I don't know where else they're available. And uh, the store serves still a very valuable purpose, as you can see from the number of people who are in there today. They have a sizable number of customers here, and a store that's uh, phased itself out wouldn't. But uh, it created a niche here from ba way back when it started in the middle of the 70s and has really uh, made a place for itself. But what do you think it is about this place that makes it kind of bigger than the sum of its parts? Because, you know, <laughs> everything here can be found in pieces in other places, but... Uh, that, you, in my view, not everything here can be found in pieces in other places. Where are you going to find any of these things? Maybe you can tell me. I don't know where any of these are available. Online, if only if anything. Well, that's... I'm not, I'm, but I mean an actual physical copy. Right. And I don't know where any of these things are. And uh, there were one or two of them that I buy regularly. And uh, uh, I don't know where on earth uh, I'm ever going to uh, see them again. Unless I subscribe. Right. And uh, as I said, there used to be a whole row of uh, uh, magazine newspaper type gay publications from various places. And, Do you uh, think people are more interested in porn than newspaper these days? Uh, each to his own interests, <laughs> and uh, uh, it's th that, that's my point. They have had whatever your interests may be relevant to a gay context. It's been here, and I know of no other parallel place w where you can get all of that material. Bit by bit, yes, uh, any of the bookstores around here will have nowadays uh, a gay shelf or a gay a section, uh, but not remotely anything like this. That where are you know the kids going to go to be able to have the tactile touch to actually pick the things up to read or to get the you know questions answered that they've got? You know, Lambda has been more than just a bookstore per se. Lambda has also been a community center. Lambda was the first place that was queer in nature that I came to when I moved into DC. I didn't really know how to mix up the scene a little bit. Um, FaZe was intimidating and Fab was loud and I couldn't really talk to anyone without people thinking I was macking on their girlfriend. Um, so I came into Lambda and I joined one of the book clubs and that's where I made a significant amount of my, my good close personal friends. What do you think, um, if you were a 16-year-old kid coming to a bookstore the first time, what do you think the difference is between coming here just looking at one shelf at Barnes & Noble? Uh, if I came here, it would be specifically because I was gay looking for gay material. If I went to Barnes & Noble, I might be looking for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Barnes & Noble, says, that's just my point. Barnes & Noble is a general bookstore, uh, and a good one. Uh, for uh, printed materials in general, but not for gay materials with, spec with specificity. Well, part of the initiation process into Lambda Rising, once I started working here, was looking at the giant penis book. All the time. Um, all the time. And all of the male, not only customers, but all of the staff, really tried to weed you out whether or not you can hold your own in Lambda with the big penis book. So um, I've seen plenty of penis in my days. Um, Are you sure you're a lesbian? I, yes, I'm, I prefer <laughs> queer lady, but... Um, uh, I enjoy viewing erotica, as many, many people do, and there's a whole section there. It's not quite as extensive as it was in, until recent times, but I always used to spend time back in that corner. What's your favorite gay book of uh, fiction, just out of curiosity? Gay what? Gay fiction. Uh, favorite piece of gay fiction? Oh, uh, I don't know if there's any one I almost always... Well, I don't go in so much, for I, as I said, I do like some of the erotica uh, back there and so on. Uh, I almost always uh, spend some time browsing the serious books 
that used to be right in over there mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to see what was there of interest. And then every once in a while, that whole, I mentioned this before, that whole back shelf over there used to, uh, used to have uh, uh, older material. I mean, if, if I decided, if I, I wanted something that went back to the 19, some book that came out in 1973, it was likely to be there. Okay. And, uh, and which was very, very useful at times. And uh, so, uh, uh, all in all, I've, I've spent many an hour here. You know, this place was responsible, okay, for the creation of more in this community than people can imagine. Look at Pride, okay? This place sponsored it, all right? Um, a lot of the socio-political initiatives that you see in, in Washington, even at a very local level, came out of people that were here. Either were customers, you know, or they were people that just socialized here, you know. So Lambda's meant a lot to the community as a whole, and I, I see it as a loss, I really honestly do. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sad that the business is closing, and I completely understand where Deacon is coming from, you know, with his reasons for closing the company. But at the same time, I'm actually really excited with the, you know, with the thought that there could be something bigger and better, which is what I've been hoping for for years. What would that look like? What could be better than this? Kramers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but I've I've always envisioned Lambda as being the go-to place for anything and everything you need in regards to uh, the gay community, like your community center, your place to pick up books, um, random merchandise that you can't get anywhere else. But you know, also having like that cafe feel, the feel where it's very family-oriented, very friendly. Um, and we have a lot of that stuff here, but it's in such a small space. And because it's in such a small space, you know, sometimes I feel like our customers aren't as welcome as we want them to feel, which is why we go above and beyond when it comes to our customer service here. And what's your favorite memory of the place? That's my last question. Uh, a friendly, uh, interesting, unique, in, u uniquely intellectual place for um, uniquely gay related. This was uh, simply one of the places in my personal geography. I came here essentially every Friday for ages and ages and ages, and until he made his announcement, uh, have intended to continue so.